it's actually not M-O-M, it's M-U-M for, for me. So I'm hoping that your editing team better change that to M-U-M. I'll be disappointed if I don't see that. I'm Michael Bishop and I'm reading text from mom. Oh no, <laughs> let's see. The most recent text that I have from her is from last night. It's kind of exposing myself, but it's fine. Uh, <laughs> it's a bit cheesy, but she texted me hearts connected and I said invisible string. Basically what that is, is when I was little, um, I, I was always scared to go to sleep. Like I was scared of the dark. And I remember my mom told me that she was like, you don't have to be worried like when you're going to sleep because like our hearts connected with like a little invisible string. So like you have to, you can always feel like I'm right there and stuff like So yeah, I still text, we, we still do that exchange. She till, still tells me that every, every time I go to sleep. So last night I have a text from her saying hearts connected and I wrote invisible string. Yeah, I just have like four missed calls from her. And then I'm just like, Sorry, one sec, we'll call you back. And I don't think I ever called her back. <laughs> That's not good. I should, I should, I should be on top of that. I have a photo that she sent me. She like, she wanted to send me a meme that was relevant to me. She like literally screenshotted it from Facebook. And I just think that's like the like the most mum thing that you can do is like screenshot a meme from Facebook. And basically this is the photo and I'll give you context, but <laughs> basically, I have a stupid fear of birds and everyone makes fun of me for it. It's like stupidly irrational and everyone knows I have this like this thing against birds and I feel like they have something against me. In Australia, we have magpies and they are like the scariest thing to exist. They are like an Australian's like worst enemy and they've like swooped me multiple times and I swear they're against me. So mom thought it would be funny to make fun of my fear by sending me a photo of it. And anytime anyone sees anything bird related, all of my friends, all of my family, everyone sends me that. So, um, and now I've just put it out to the world as well. So that's just great. I'm going to get more of it. <laughs> uh, I think I didn't reply on purpose. I was probably trying to make a statement. <laughs> I have a text from her that says, I think this is kind of funny because she does this all the time, but she just texted me like, tell Hayden happy birthday. Hayden's my cousin. And so like, Every time someone's birthday or like I need to like tell someone something or whatever, she always reminds me. So literally instead of having a reminder, I just get my mom to text me when someone's birthday is and then I know to text them. I feel bad now for Hayden because he's going to be, if he watches this, he's going to know that I didn't know when his birthday was. <laughs> she texted me, um, can you pick Riley up from school? Riley's my little brother. And I just wrote, nope. And then... <laughs> She didn't even respond. And then I texted her like an hour later and was like, I picked Riley up. <laughs> yeah, she she knew she knew that I was going to say yes. She knew that that was going to happen. I would not be able to let that slide. This is kind of random. She sent me my birth certificate, like completely out of context. I don't know if like she knew that I needed it for something or it's, it's like a sign that like, she's like, just take it, leave. <laughs> like You're on your own now. I don't know. I like double tapped it and pressed like the question mark thing. She didn't respond, which is, seems to be a common thing. I think we like talk about what we've texted in real life. This is also so random. She sent me just a slice of cheese on its own. I don't know. Oh man, the, the things that me and mom send to each other, stupid. I love it. Be sure to tune in to Spin on August 13th on Disney Channel.